Hello and welcome to microchip.com. Today we will go over a secure boot implementation for small microcontrollers using the ATECC608A. How a secure element can enable a secure boot implementation? The target application or small microcontrollers. For microprocessor based application, please see the CEC1702. Such implementation help with IP protection, firmware validation, by providing an immutable public key. The second aspect of the implementation is to understand the core value of why using a secure element is important. The whole philosophy relies on isolating keys and certificate manipulation from software and users, manufacturing equipment, and manufacturing operators. If we compare a standard versus a secure implementation, in a normal implementation, the host microcontroller integrates a normal bootloader and an application image. The verification is limited to a valid application presence or a checksum verification or a CRC verification. In a secure implementation, the addition of the secure element brings authentication and integrity in the verification process. There are three main steps in the process. The first one is to create a key pair and have an immutable public key. The second step is to sign an application image. And the third step is to verify the digest and signature of the application image. Let's see how Secure Boot works. There are two sides of the environment to consider. The left side is the OEM factory side and the right side is the marketplace once the finished product is deployed. The application image is created in the OEM factory pushed through a hash algorithm that outputs an application image digest. The private key that lives in the secure environment at the OEM factories signs the application image digest with an ECDSA sign operation. The output of this operation is a signature. Then the signature as well as the application image digest are loaded into the host MCU. Then the application digest and or the signature are pushed through a verify function that uses the manufacturing public key that is stored in the secure elements. Then the bootload sequence can execute or be rejected depending on the output of the verification. The secure boot features of the ATECC 608 include several new commands. A full application note illustrates all of them. For more advanced application environment and secure boots, please go and check the CEC 1702. And to know more about the ATECC 608, please go to www.microchip.com slash ATECC608A. Thank you very much.